Hello, Kiri here, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about my latest toy. As some of you would know, I've been traveling for the last couple of months, and one of the things that I picked up on my travels was one of these. Of course, it's an iPad. Great for checking your email, browsing the net, and generally wasting lots of time. One other thing that it's very good at though as well is becoming a configurable touch control surface. The particular application I'm going to use today um, to, to show you how you do this is something called Touch OSC. It's an app you can get through the iTunes store uh, and it uses the OSC protocol or open sound control uh, to control other software, other bits of hardware. Um, basically I'm going to give you a quick overview, I'm not going to go too much into the technical setting up, there's plenty of information on the uh, hexler.net website which is h-e-x-l-e-r.net which is the uh, company that makes the software, they go through setting it up, um, how it's going to work wirelessly with your uh, laptop and all of that. I'm just going to give an overview of what it can do for you and how I'm using it in my case to control a uh, tractor from native instruments. Okay, we're actually going to start with the editor software that you can use to create your custom layouts. This is on a PC, but the software is also available for a Mac, just let, download it off hexler.net. And I'm using an iPad, I prefer to use it horizontally, and we have a blank canvas. From here you can go and add LEDs, labels, push buttons, toggle buttons, XY pads, faders, rotaries, all sorts of things. You're actually able to go down, uh, or go onto the website and download a pile of preset mixer environments, uh, DJ environments, all sorts of things, there's a, a drum machine environment on there. But I always suggest to people that uh, learn a little bit more about your equipment and learn how to customize it to the way that you think and the way that you want to work. As an example, I am going to load up the control surface that I'm starting to work on. It's not finished and it'll probably change a million times by the time uh, I'm, I'm happy with it, but that's the beauty of this custom environment. And if you've seen my other tractor videos, you'll know that I use tractor essentially with three decks and the fourth deck being a delay on the effect send on the mixer. So that's how I've got this set up. I just have the controls that I use uh, mostly set up in there, which is my loops, my cues, uh, and my uh, beat jumps. Up the top here, I have a browser section, so I won't have to touch the laptop to load the tracks up. This will become my favorites and my prep box. I can change BPM here. And as I come up with other things that I want to do, I can just shuffle them around and move them. The great thing with this software is it actually has multiple pages. So what I will be doing is having this as my uh, browser and transport section, and then have a second page where I can control the effects. Now, I must admit, I still prefer physical knobs and uh, physical faders to the, the virtual ones here. There's something just about the tactile feel of them. But it means that if I'm not able to take my 1D out with me and plug that in, then I can just have the iPad working wirelessly and giving me a pile more control than I could ever have just using a laptop. So, that's the editor software. Once we're happy with the software itself, all we do is we hit sync comes up and now we can actually sync it up with the software on the iPad. So now on the iPad we go into Touch OSC. I've already set it up to talk to my laptop via a wireless ad hoc network. Uh, if you need more information on that jump onto the hexler.net site they basically explain that all for you. Go into layouts, add, seize my laptop, add that, go over to there, Done. There's my layout. All the buttons are working. One touch, some toggles. I go into my effects page, my faders. So that's how easy it is to basically design and uh, load it up. Now, the next stage we have is having it talk to, in my case, Tractor. This system is using OSC, which Tractor at the moment doesn't have. Native Instruments, uh, please add it back into a new release. But in the meantime, we just need to use a bit of software to translate from the incoming OSC commands to MIDI commands that Tractor will then accept. If we're on a PC, we use a program like this, which is pure data. If we're on a Mac, we would use Osculator. Now, if you're not used to programming environments, pure data is going to look pretty foreign. 
Thankfully on Hexler.net they have a simple application that just takes your touch OSC layout and automatically generates the required pure data patch. So you just load it up, hit the button and it creates this patch for you. So this simply runs in the background. We load up Tractor. Okay, so once Tractor's up and going, just go into our controller manager and now we can add the iPad as a new generic MIDI controller. I'm still adding bits and pieces in here, but like any other MIDI controller, now we can add any parameter, hit the learn button, hit our corresponding button over here, and it will just learn it for us. And always remember, same as any other MIDI controller, that you are able to set up multiple commands off one button. One thing I've done for a long time is have it set up so I can select a tune, hit one button, it loads it, it syncs it, and it sets up uh, cut play on the load cue point for me. So that's it. Basically at this point you're free to set the controller surface up however you want with all the buttons doing whatever you want, the faders, the sliders, basically your imagination, uh, <laughs> uh, just let it run wild. Okay, so that was just a quick overview of using Touch OSC on the iPad with Tractor Pro software. Obviously, you can do so much with it, it would just take uh, hours and hours to explain all the various features. Hexler.net, H-E-X-L-E-R.net uh, -E -E uh, on the internet is just a wealth of information for the actual setup, network setup, configuration of it. Have a look on there. They've got a pile more videos of people just using various bits and pieces. But yes, it's certainly going to make things a lot easier for me that I can just create finally a controller that does just exactly what I want it to do. Reality is I'm still going to take out my 1D for the faders and the uh, rotor pots but um, the other benefit is of course with this is that I can assign it uh, to tractor I can have a new setup for Ableton and of course it's still an iPad so I can still do all the other things that an iPad will let you do so yes great little application um, strongly suggest looking into it um, whether you have an iPhone or an iPad you can use it on both of those and um, yeah get into it get creative um, start creating some unique templates just for yourself cheers